to see a few more girls coming into it, so why not? Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Good luck this evening. Thanks very much, Kim. I don't need luck. <laughs> We have King in the white shorts and Mills in the red. Round one. Straight to the clinch there. Both guys looking to be looking for the takedown. Oh, a slip! A slip there by Mills, but he's recovered well. A very frenetic start to this one. That Mills is a strong guy because he just lifted that guy there like, like a two-pound hammer and dropped him onto the ground. But I thought one of the one of the rules was uh, you're not you're not allowed any spine punching. Yes, I noticed King that. A, King threw a few punches there in, in, into the back and landed bang on the spine. But I, I the referee didn't pick up on that, or maybe just thought it wasn't it wasn't really intentional. I think uh, yeah, it's something that Alan has to watch out for very very closely. We do not allow any strikes to, to the spine at all. It's very, very dangerous. And it's, well, it's just not good sportsmanship either. But both these guys, are, I'm sure King didn't do it intentionally. See, this is a bit now. What's actually going on in there now, Johnny? What's, what's, what's going through the fighters' minds there? Who's trying to get advantage or who has the advantage? Well, at this stage here, Mills definitely has the advantage. He's, he's in King's half guard. He's trying to work his leg free, so he's got a free, so he can take the mount position, which is the dominant, dominant position in MMA. He gets the mount position, he means he's basically sitting on the chair. There he goes, he's past the guard, he's now in mount. Look for Mills to start to rain some heavy shots down on top of King. Oh, King has turned his back, Mills has his back. Look for Mills to try and sink in a, a rear naked choke here, trying to tap King out. Mills is controlling the fight well here. King doesn't need to see. Oh, that's a good shot by Mills. Basically, Mills is trying to trying to get that arm underneath King's defending his neck well, but he's got him flattened out here. This could be very, very dangerous for King. Very dangerous indeed. Mills is just hitting the most wee chopping shots. I'm looking to try and soften him up to get that choke out. This could be dangerous, this could be it. He's trying to get his arm around King's neck there. And he is indeed, this is getting very dangerous. There, there, that might be it. There, Mills has sunk the choke out and that should be the end of it. King seems to be defending quite well, Mills seems to be too. Yeah, he's taking advantage away there because he, he, he somehow managed to, to get Mills' as, uh, uh, arm from around his neck. And oh, he's, he's, oh, he's got him again. This could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. Really, from this position, Mills should finish him. That should be it. There's the tap out. Yeah, 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 There's yeah, the yeah, tap. Yeah, yeah. Mills taps King with a rear naked choke in the first round. A great piece of ground control there by Mills. There's a lot of skill that goes on in this too, like getting the moves and getting the chokes on and getting the pressure points. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. This is definitely not a street brawl by any, any shape, size, description or form. These guys train very, very hard. It becomes a game of physical chess. Mills control that fight excellently. Ladies and gentlemen, Winning it at three minutes and three in the first round, a tap out due to a rear naked choke. Please give a big round of applause to Jimmy Mills from Mississippi, America.